Hello, good afternoon. This is David Soda talking to you. And today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of April 20th through April 24th, 2020. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all the major Forex currency pairs on a 30 minute time frame and then compare that to higher time frames, such as a four hour daily and weekly, to try to give you my analysis of what I think is going to happen this coming week. Okay, so to begin with, let's look at Euro USD right here. Okay. If you look at Euro USD on a 30 minute time frame here, we see that the price actually did drop this past week, okay? And I was actually kind of predicting that it would go up, but in fact, it did drop. Not so much, but it did drop. Um, it was slowing steadily. Now, question is, you know, it's been fighting to go into an uptrend for quite some time now. The question is now, since it dropped back down, had a retracement in the market is it going to be going back up so let's look at the four hour chart and try to get an idea of what we think is going to happen okay so we can see here that it has been trying to go into an uptrend for quite some time right and it's been pretty more or less moving sideways but we can predict based on this that in the long term it's going to be going up if you look at the daily chart daily chart has an up arrow but no red arrow Okay, never formed a down arrow. So meaning, okay, the daily is pretty strong here. Now th this means that it needs to form a red arrow. So it's gonna have to go up, okay? And we look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart even has a blue arrow, but no red arrow. So this right here tells me that yes, long-term, this is definitely, definitely gonna be going up. And we need to be focusing on buying the uh euro usd right here. So what i would do for this week okay i predict more or less we're going to see a range of market we're not going to see any huge major trends and but what i would do is i'll go to a 15 minute chart like you see here okay and only place buy trades okay because the long-term trend is bullish the long-term trend will be going up so we need to be focusing on buy and not sell okay i hope that makes sense all okay, right, so if you get stick to a 50 minute chart, if you get a signal to buy like this, then open the trade on the blue arrow, but close it on the red arrow. That is my advice for this week. Okay, moving on to Great British Pound versus the US dollar, GBP USD. We see here on this one that kind of the same thing with more, more or less a flat range of market, right? But the price to end uh, a little bit lower than where it began but more or less is the flat range of market and now this one should be going up it has been fighting going to uptrend for quite some time but it's kind of stagnant right now as you can tell now let's look at the four hour chart and kind of get an idea what's going on right the four hour chart has a red arrow and you can see here right so okay it should be going down but we had a red arrow before and it never really went down it kept going up so the market really is bullish okay even though you got these red arrows it's still bullish and how we can tell is look at the next higher time frame the daily okay the daily has an up arrow but no red arrow okay so long term this is going to be going up if you look at the weekly the weekly is a very 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 good indication of what's going on in the market long term and right now we can see that we have a blue arrow and we know that it's going up so long term probably in the next few weeks the next few months you're going to be seeing this going up 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 even more okay so we do not want to be trying to sell the gbp usd again put this on a 15 minute chart and focus on buy opportunities only all right now looking here we see we could buy you could uh, buy and sell and close on the opposite red arrow now here on this particular one there was no red arrow all right so what you could do possibly this is i'll leave this as an option for you i have another youtube video that explains in more detail but you could place a trade on the 50 minute chart and close using the five minute chart and I, I i'll show you an example if i mark this right here we see this is a high point and it dropped there's no red arrow right but if i drop down to a five minute chart watch this 
you have the blue arrow here but here on the five minute chart you have the red arrow okay so again you could do that now you can stick to a five minute chart also and just only place buy trades and close on the red arrows also that's a very good possibility but generally speaking the 15 minute chart is a very good rule of thumb you'll be able to open and close a trade the same day and get the maximum amount of profit okay so i'll leave that up to you exactly how you want to trade but definitely be looking for buy opportunities for the gbp usd moving on to australian dollar versus us dollar again we see more or less a flat range of market and the price ended oh, pretty about where it where where it began at the beginning of the week so um like i said this one has been trying to fight up as well and right now it's just pretty much stagnant as both the us dollar and the australian dollar are fighting neck and neck and no you know it's just a who is going to win the, this race now especially with all this covid 19 coronavirus mess going on so the markets are really uh, iffy right now but anyhow if you look here on the four hour chart okay we had a signal to sell but it never formed a blue arrow i think this is just me thinking i'm thinking this this is going to be dropping okay and it's going to uh eventually form a blue arrow now it has retraced and come back up if we look at the daily chart the daily chart shows to go up and so does the weekly so again long term this is going to be going up uh this week like i said it probably will drop and form a blue arrow so we definitely be looking for it to drop this week but however due to the fact that the daily and weekly show the bullish that's going to be going up i would only focus on buy signals okay and you can see the market has been rather bullish it hasn't really dropped like we thought it would so again put this on a 15 minute chart and only or even a five minute chart but only focus on buy opportunities okay buy on a blue arrow and close on the red arrow okay no take profit no stop loss okay very very simple okay if you see all these buy all these buy opportunities all these blue arrows that's where you want to be trading okay moving on to us dollar swiss franc now if the other ones are going to be going up this one should be going down should be okay i'll just use that as kind of loosely right now because we don't know exactly what this market is doing right now now we look here at us dollar versus the swiss franc we see that again we had pretty much a flat range of market right and the price did end slightly higher than where it began now if we go to the four hour chart we have a down arrow and like i said the us dollar has been fighting to go into a downtrend for quite some time but it, it has been and i don't know probably always will be the strongest currency in the world we cannot foretell the future exactly but the us dollar is still the strongest currency in the world okay for whatever reason and do not expect this just to drop like a rock okay if you look at the daily the daily shows to go up and so does the weekly okay now this is a problem because i just showed you the euro great british pound the australian dollar all those should be going up long term as well so if the euro usd for example is going to be going up then the us dollar should be going down okay so you cannot be buying both of these one goes up the other one must go down that is the rule that is the absolute you know bible when it comes to forex so with that said if the euro usd gbp usd aud usd are going up this one should be going down okay i you know despite all this what we see here i will be looking to sell the us dollar swiss franc this week okay again this is a very tight market right now okay we're going to see a flat range of market again so what i would do is go to like a five minute or even 15 minute chart and look for sell opportunities only okay case in point on the five minute chart here we had a red arrow and a big drop okay sell here on the red arrow close on the blue arrow 
Okay, do not use any type of take profit or stop loss. Very, very simple, right? But that is the basic strategy here. All right. If you look at, if I zoom out, we see a lot of red arrows that you can you can make a lot of profit on. Okay, by closing, open on the red and close on the blue. Very, very simple strategy. All right, moving on to U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. We kind of see the same thing a flat range of market where the price end is slightly higher than where it began if we look at the four hour chart again we see the price wanting to go up but overall the price is actually dropping all right it's not really going into an uptrend is it if we look at the daily the daily chart shows to go down long term and if we look at the weekly we get an even stronger indication that the market is definitely going to be going down long term. We can see right here there's a slope. I'm not going to draw it, but you can see if you follow my mouse right here, you can see it's definitely forming a slope downhill. Okay, gradually, steadily, over time, you're going to see this dropping. Okay, so again, I would focus on sell opportunities only for the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And all you have to do is go into a five minute or even 15 minute chart and focus on the red arrows. Sell on the red arrows and close the trade on the blue arrows. Okay, if I zoom out a bit, we see numerous opportunities. I think a five minute chart might be a little better, but if we open a trade on a red arrow and close on the blue, we have numerous good opportunities. Not perfect, but um, you see here, open here open here of course here you'd have a big gain too so but to be 100% safe like I said go by the larger trend okay yes there are times where you can buy and you can definitely make some profit but we don't know at that particular point in time okay when it, when you first get the signal we have no idea that it's gonna be shooting up that high okay so if you just stick with the larger trend the larger bearish trend you'll be fine okay now let's move on to the last one us dollar versus japanese yen okay again we did see a more or less a flat range of market where the price ended slightly lower than where it began so the price did drop a little bit but not so much if we look at the four hour chart look at this what this is interesting we had a bias signal okay but it never really went up, did it? It went up a little bit, but came back down. So that means the market, the US dollar is very bearish. Okay, it's very weak. And the US dollar is doing me dropping. Okay, so if we look here on the daily, we have an up arrow. And if we look on the weekly, we have an up arrow. Same like the US dollar Swiss franc. Okay, but if you look at the monthly, we have a down arrow. So. The lar larger the time frame, the stronger the signal. And the monthly is always, you know, will trump all the different time frames. So the monthly is the strongest uh, signal. Right now, it's shown to go down. So long term, long, long term is definitely going to be dropping. Okay. I, that much I can guarantee. <sighs> What's going to be doing this week? We should be seeing more of a range of market. Okay. I don't expect any major trends to develop, but we can see expect more of a flat range of market this week. We already see what it's doing right now at the moment. So what you can do is put it on a five minute chart, even 15 minute chart. And for me, I would focus on sell opportunities because we know the long term trend is bearish. But then again, you could buy and sell simply because it's been a pretty much a flat range of market no matter regardless anyways so as long as it continues in a flat range of market you could buy and sell both okay i'll kind of leave that up to you exactly what you do for me personally i would focus on the sell on the red arrows only okay so i hope this helps you a little bit with your trading this week please let me know if you have any questions or comments about this trade prediction or if you have another certain currency pair that you want me to analyze and go over, just contact me on Facebook, okay? I'll be more than happy to try to help you. Only thing I ask is that you please also give me your analysis 
so we can compare notes. Okay, maybe I can learn from you as well. All right. So if you have any questions, uh, contact me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of this video from our personal Facebook. Uh, please contact me there first. Also, there is a link for my private Facebook group, and you can request to join my Facebook group, and you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group. Okay. So with that said, I hope you have a wonderful week trading ahead. Thank you and have a wonderful day.